Hello and welcome. So in the last video, I showed you how you can import some data from a Microsoft Access database into Power BI. Then we went through the steps to transform the data into Power Query. Then we created our relationships in our data model. And then we added the visuals as you see here. So now what we want to do is create some simple measures. So the first thing I want to do is click this enter data button. It's going to bring up this dialog box. I'm going to name this key measures. I'm going to hit load. So it brings up this virtual table called key measures. I'm going to select it and I'm going to click on the new measure button. So what I want to do is show the positions. If somebody clicks a position in a slicer. So I'm going to call the measure report title. It's going to be equal to a DAX measure called selected value. And like I said, we're using the position column from the position table. Let me zoom in so you can see. So the measure is called report title, and we're using selected value from the position column in the position table. Accept our measure. Now we have our, okay, that's fine. We have our measure inside of our employee table. Let's go move that to our key measures. So let's go to the model view. I've selected the measure. Actually, I'm going to move it into the key measures. So now it's in the key measures virtual table. Go back. So we can get rid of this column one. So once we delete that column one, you see our icon changed to like a calculator icon. And we have our key measure, our measure report title inside of here. So now we want to display the report title. So let's use our card visual switch right here. and select our report title in the field wells. Change the data label text size to 25. And get rid of the category. Let's make this a little smaller. Move these down. Okay, actually, all right, so the first thing you notice is there's a blank because we haven't selected any of the positions. When we start selecting them, you'll see administrative assistant, business analyst, cybersecurity specialist, data analyst, data engineer, and data scientist. Now, the next step we want to do is when we unselect a, a position, we want to say all employees in our title. So let's modify our measure. So 
So I'm going to put at the end of this measure all employees. Let me zoom in. There it is. All employees. There we get all employees because we haven't selected anything. And we still get our measures or our slicers selected. All right, one more step we want to do. So you notice that um, when I selected data engineer, we have two of them. So I want the title to say data engineers. And I want the title here to say administrative assistance with an S. So let's go back to our measure. And first thing I want to do is create a variable. Here's our variable, it's called position name, and we have the same as we had before, right? So I'm going to hit Alt, Enter. We need to put position name here. So this hasn't changed. We haven't changed anything yet. All, we, all we've done here is just assigned a variable to our value. So we'll get the same result as we had before. All right? Now I want to create a switch statement. So let's go back to a measure. I'm just going to add a switch statement underneath this. So here we, we're saying that uh, this data engineer, we're going to replace it with data engineers with the S. Same thing with administrative assistant and data scientist at the bottom. Okay, accept that. So you have all employees. We select administrative assistant. We get administrative assistants with the S. We get data engineers with the S data scientists with an S. In the next video, I'll show you how to use count rows. So count what count rows would do is a measure. So if I select data engineers, I'm going to, what I want to do is have the number two. So it'll say two data engineers, because that's how many we have. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.